क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ईथर एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द आइसोमर्स इन ईथर सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट आइसोमर्स इन ईथर्स So friends, as we know, that is what is isomers. Isomers are those which have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. So depending on that, we are going to talk about the isomers of ether. So isomers of ether are basically divided into three types, and those are nothing but. If I talk about the first one, then it is known as chain isomerism. About the second one, that is known as functional isomerism. And last, it is known as metamerism. Or we could also call it as positional isomerism. So, what are these three? What is the definition of this thing? And let us understand the example, and because of which we could understand the chain functional as well as metamerism very easily. So, now let us understand the definition of it first. So, now let us talk about the first isomerism that we have discussed, that is chain isomerism. So, what is chain isomerism? Let us understand with the help of the definition. So. The ethers having the same alkyl group on either side of the oxygen atom, but different arrangement of carbon chain within the alkyl group are called as chain isomerism. So now let me elaborate this thing with the help of an example. Suppose if we have that is CH three O CH two CH two CH two and this is CH three. So the name of this compound is known as this is methoxy. well the whole thing is nothing but butane so therefore the name of this one it would be called as one methoxy butane but as we have discussed the definition of it so in this case suppose there will be arrangement in the chain of the alkyl group so for example this can be also written in the form of i would write it over here for an example that is ch3 o ch2 here i would write ch3 here it will be ch2 and here it will be ch3 so this is the isomerism that i am talking about so if you talk about the number of carbon atoms here the total number of carbon atoms as you could see over here it is totally 5 and here also that is 1 2 3 4 5 it is also 5 but yes the molecular formula is same but the only thing that is basically different in this case is the structural formula or we could write the chain if you talk about this one then this butane is in a straight chain while here basically you can see a branching and from the branching basically a methoxy group is basically attached so therefore the name of this one could be given as because i could name this as carbon number 1 this would be carbon number 2 this is carbon number 3 this is carbon number 4 so or the second carbon atom basically the methoxy group is basically attached so therefore i could name this as 2 methoxy butane so therefore it indicates related therefore it depends on the arrangement of the parent alkane so in this case the parent alkane is what it is in a straight chain while here we could see a branch so that is the reason this two are basically the chain isomers of each other and the phenomenon of having this two isomers is basically known as chain isomerism so this was related to the first isomer and now let me talk about the next one so talking about the next one we have that is functional isomers so let us understand the definition of this one so that is the organic compounds having the same molecular formula but different functional group are called as functional isomers and this phenomenon is known as functional isomerism so now let me give you an example related to this one suppose if we have ether and suppose if i am taking an example like ch3 o ch3 the name of this compound is nothing but it is known as dimethyl ether or we could also call it as methoxy methane but if you talk about the alcohol for example if i am writing that is ch3 ch2 oh so if we compare this two that is if we compare this ether and if we compare this alcohol then the total number of carbon in the both the cases are the same and if i talk about the oxygen atom again it is the same as well as if we talk about the hydrogen atom again it is the same thing means the number of hydrogen atom the number of carbon and the number of oxygen atom is the same in both the cases but if we talk about the functional group yes this is ether while this is nothing but it is an alcohol so the name of this is nothing but ethanol so that's what there is a difference in the functional group while this is ether and this is 
ethanol or you could call it as an alcohol so therefore these two are basically functional isomers of each other so this is how basically ethers can be converted into an alcohol also if you talk about the isomerism so that was related to this one and now let me talk about the next one that is the next is metamers so let us understand the definition of it also that is ethers having the same molecular formula but different alkyl groups attached to either side of the oxygen atoms are known as metamers or which are also known as positional isomers so now let me explain this with the help of an example so friends suppose if we have that is methoxy propane that is ch3 o ch2 ch2 ch3 this is known as methoxy propane but if you talk about the isomers i can also write it as like ch3 ch2 o ch2 ch3 this is known as diethyl ether or ethoxy ethane but if we compare these two things then we'll get to know that is the total number of carbon oxygen and hydrogen in both the cases are the same the only difference is so here basically you can see that is on the oxygen atom there are two alkyl groups that have been attached but in this side it is a methyl group and on that side it is nothing but a propyl group but in this example here basically there is an ethyl group and there also there is an ethyl group but if we compare this two there is a difference in the alkyl groups that are attached on the either side of the oxygen atom and that's the reason that they are also known as positional isomers or they are basically metamers with respect to each other so therefore this was an example related to the metamers as well as we have also discussed about uh, the isomers of ether so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you have got to know about the isomers of ether and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much